So hello guys and uh, welcome back to Easy German with Benjamin. So today we are going to take a look at how we conjugate verbs in German. And so verbs, I don't know if you know what verbs are, but this is basically in English like to go, to eat, to make, to see, to drive. Yeah, these are verbs. And they are the only words that we conjugate in any language. Yeah? So, today we learn how we do this in German. And this is one of the most important things, because every sentence contains a verb and it needs to be changed according to the person. Okay? So, here we're going to take a look at the persons, yeah? the personal pronouns. It's ich, du, er, sie, es is he, she, it, wir, yeah? ihr, und sie. And then we have a Z with a capital S and we're going to take a look uh, at this one later. Okay? So for now we focus on the endings. So here we have the verb kommen. Yeah? Das Verb kommen. To come. Also ich komme. Yeah? So what we basically do is we get rid of the EN then we are left with the uh, with the core, or I don't know how you say that in English, the stem, I'm not sure, like the core of the verb, and then we just add the endings. So for ich it's an e, yeah, also für ich ein e, also ich komme, du kommst, er sie es kommt, wir kommen, ihr kommt, und sie kommen. And here I have a couple of examples. Yeah? So this one in German is der Satz, yeah? sentence. And please notice that the verb in a German sentence is always, I mean not always, but for now always, in position two. Okay? That's super important. Yeah, don't mix up the verb. Like the rest of the sentence structure is quite loose in German. There are a lot of like uh, possibilities how we can structure a sentence, but the verb has to be in second position. Yeah. So okay. Ich komme aus Berlin. Du kommst aus Spanien. Er kommt aus China. Wir kommen aus London, ihr kommt aus New York und sie kommen aus Russland. Okay, so we're going to take a look at another verb to make another example. All right, so here we have another example. We have the verb schreiben, to write, yeah? schreiben. So again, yeah, let's do this one together. We get rid of the en and then it's left, however this is called in English. And we have ich schreibe, yeah? plus e. Du Schreibst. Gut. Und er, sie, es schreibt. Wir schreiben. Ihr schreibt. Und sie schreiben. Okay. Und hier haben wir wieder ein paar Sätze. Ja, das ist ein Satz, Satz und viele Sätze. Ich schreibe eine SMS. Du schreibst eine E-Mail. Er schreibt einen Text. 
Text, same as in English. Eh? Wir schreiben ein Buch. Hm? Ah. Ein Buch. Eh? Ihr schreibt einen Satz und Sie schreiben einen Brief. Brief ist Letter. Okay, und yeah, you see that we have different articles here. Yeah? We have eine, ein, einen. Yeah, don't worry with this right now. We're gonna get there later on. I mean, not today, but later on in this project. Okay, so yeah, this was another example with the verb schreiben. And now we're going to take a look at some more verbs, yeah? so that you have some verbs that you can play with and that you can think and conjugate, okay? All right, so basically you know now how you conjugate regular verbs in German. There are also, of course, like in any language, irregular verbs, and we're going to take a look at them in lesson five, how we conjugate them. It's not so different, so basically you know more or less everything you need to know about conjugation. So let's do a couple of examples, yeah? I'm going to say, I mean, first we're going to take a look at the verbs, and then I'm going to say, and you're going to think, what is the ending, all right? Let's do it. So we have the verb machen, which is in English to make. Fragen, to ask. Gehen, to go. Hören, to hear. Spielen, to play. Leben oder wohnen, to live. I think it's the same in English. We have two of them. We say to live and to, to house, like where you have your house. I don't think uh, English has a word for this one. And suchen, to search. Let's do a couple of examples. Yeah? Ich, what is the ending? Yeah? Ich mache Sport. Fragen, du fragst Benjamin. Yeah, gehen, er oder sie geht ins Kino, yeah, to the cinema. Wir hören Musik, ihr spielt Fußball, sie leben in Berlin und ich, ja, ich suche mein Handy. Okay, so we are almost done for today. There's just one more thing. We are going to take a look what this Z yeah, at the bottom, if you remember, with the capital S means. Yeah? All right. So as I said, this is going to be the last part for today we are going to take a look what what is it about this s with the capital uh, the z with the capital s yeah what does it mean and it's basically the way of speaking formal in german so when do we need to speak formal usually you do it to every adult person that's the theory that if adult people meet they would speak in this formal way to each other until they get to know each other or until they agree on speaking in the do form. Yeah? But I would say for my generation it's not so important anymore. Especially if you come from a big city like me in Berlin, it's not that people care so much. The older ones do though. Yeah? So if you speak to an, I don't know, to a person that is maybe above 40 or 50, they will expect you to use the Z form. And if you don't, they can get quite pissed here. Yeah? And if you go outside the big cities, it's probably even more of an issue. So you should take care to use this Z form when you speak to people that you don't know and that are older than you. Yeah? 
All right. So how do we do it? It's Sie kommen aus Berlin. Yeah? Sie kommen aus Berlin. And informal, du kommst aus Berlin. In English it's you. Huh? You come from Berlin, you come from Berlin. In German we have a way of making a distinction between them. Sie hören Musik und du hörst Musik. Und sie gehen nach Hause oder du gehst nach Hause. Okay? So basically the bottom one that you saw in this conjugation, um, in this conjugation, um, how you say that, table, yeah, chart. So the bottom one, the bottom Z, uh, is the formal one. And in the bottom you also saw a small one. So we basically have three Zs in German. So one Z is eine Frau. Yeah? Z hört Musik. The other Z, also with a small s, is plural. Sie hören Musik. And the third one is this one. It's the Z with the capital S. And that's the formal way. Sie hören Musik. All right? So we have three Zs. Okay, so I hope you got everything. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something today. Um, again, I strongly recommend you download the exercises, do the exercises, watch my video where I do them myself and explain stuff along the way. And yeah, I hope you have a great week and uh, I also hope that I see you next week again. Huh? Until then, tschüss!